I'm testing the pulse width modulation of the fans and all I've got here is I've got one fan hooked up to a, um, a HeLa solid state relay it's about a $25, $30, 20 amp relay and then I've got a battery and I've got a signal generator here so basically here's 10% uh, and I've got this thing set at 50 hertz so fairly low duty, uh, fairly low frequency um, so that's 10% which is probably lower than I'll go and then 20% for the fan. I'll jump up to 40. And then 50. And then I'll go to 70%. And then I can go up to um, 100%. Oops, I did it the wrong way around, sorry. That's 0%. And that's full. One fan. So it works. I'm happy, and uh, I'll uh, definitely go and um, use the computer tables. I'll turn it on at uh, 190 and, uh, degrees Fahrenheit at 30, say 30 percent, and then when it gets up to about 195. I'll have the fan running full and then I'll turn the second fan on at that speed and then have it running full by 200 Fahrenheit. So targeting the engine temperature around 190 to 195, um, maybe a little higher. I'll, I'll, I'll play with it. Um, got a few other things going on here. There's my five pound nitrous bottle. Uh, there's my air filter that's going to be tucked in the side of the car and one of the air filter couplings that uh, goes into the clear four inch um, Lexan tubing. That's the 4500 PSI um, air tank that is going to be operating as a push system to the 5 pound nitrous tank and there's a solenoid that uh, has a pressure sensitive electric switch that opens a solenoid and, and pushes on the, 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 the nitrous liquid to keep it at the 950 PSI. So I don't have to use a bottle heater and it's instantaneous and it'll push the nitrous out entirely and then I have a, a big 20 pound bottle there that will be my supply so I'll fill that thing up at the nitrous filling um, station and then I will chill that bottle there in the freezer and then uh, use a transfer that little transfer line there uh, to let the, the, the liquid flow between it and then I will recharge that 4500 PSI tank at a, either a scuba shop or a paintball shop so that's kind of my uh, my nitrous system for the uh, for the day. I also did um, I had to take apart the motor here. Not hard to do. It was just it was seized up. I had uh, I thought I had this thing all uh, fine, but in the period it was stored, it uh, wouldn't turn. So anyway, I took these two screws off, slipped the cover off, and then pulled the armature of the motor out, which caused the uh, the springs and the um, the brush. The, you know the carbon uh, brushes to all go springing everywhere so I had to um, clean it all out re-grease it um, you know I ran brake cleaner this is my favorite brake cleaner the perchloroethylene the perk brake cleaner is just super it's not nasty stuff but it cleaned the whole inside of the battery out uh, the, the, the electronics of the motor out and then put it all back together and re-greased it and cleaned up all the contacts and now it now it runs fine. Just tested it with the battery, and uh, yeah, at uh, high-low speeds, it uh, works like a hot damn. So I can now put that in the car.